Hello, hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Chronos TV, I am your host, Zen, and welcome to Minecraft 1.19, uh, presented by Optifine. <laughs> now, uh, I have streamed this before, I've showed it, showed it off before, um, oh my god, that's a lot of texture packs, um, but... I haven't showed it in its entirety, and I have not showed the finished product yet. Technically speaking, it's never finished, but this is as close as I can get to it. Welcome to my server, which is called Eastwood City. Right now, it is not public. I mean, it is, and it's not, it's not public to, like, everyone. Uh, a select few uh, have the um, IP address for it. But, um... Yes, so I have been working diligently on this server. Uh, there is so many things to do and so so much stuff that I really hope that when people do join, uh, it's entertaining for them. So we're going to go through and I'm going to show off all of the... Um, the the, the locations, the attractions, whatever, and the reason why I put them in there. And I'll go behind um, why I built it and why I wanted to do this. And I'll even discuss some quote-unquote lore of the uh, of the city. So we've actually spawned at my house. It's a nice... I'm actually going to turn off my thing. It's a nice little... Um, whoa. Might get some lag spikes. I do apologize. Uh, it's a nice kind of little, uh, well, I won't say little, it is a bit large, uh, little, um, <laughs> I said it again, uh, house by the bay, there's a squid over there, and you can see some things in the background, um, I actually built this uh, with the help of a friend, because I had another house, uh, and we'll see that later on, but it, it didn't feel quite me, so we put this together. It's got a nice fireplace that's on both sides. My music collection. Of course, went through into the carpet. Piston uh, dining room table. Very big fan of that. I love doing that, so you can put carpet on it to make it look like it's a um, uh, tablecloth. There we go. I'm actually going to make sure that the... Um, weather and the uh, <clears throat> time of day doesn't change so that I can kind of give you a, a, a big show of during the day and during the night. Uh, anyways, my kitchen uh, and then my bedroom is off over in this corner. But um, showing off the actual city. So... Uh, once we get onto the main road, I will discuss this. So, the first thing that we're going to see is this bridge. I have never made a bridge before. I don't have a donation thing set up. It's a good try. Um, but, uh... Anyway, so I've never made a bridge before, and I wanted to make a bridge. I actually wanted to make a suspension bridge, but it didn't really turn out the way I was hoping it would. But I kind of like how it turned out. It's a big A-frame looking thing. Um, comes over here to just an island. I'm hoping to populate these islands, but uh, that's for the future. I have named them the Trillion Island. Um, I have named it the Trillion Islands. I don't know really where that name came from. I just thought of it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Thank you for the follow as well. Um, we have a little diner here. 
uh, I wanted to have one of the big things uh, that I wanted to have in the server is not only for when my friends play for uh, when and if this goes public is I've played on tons of uh, servers before and it's really hard to come by food. It is really, really like when you first start out, you start out with absolutely nothing. It's really hard to come by food. This diner is completely free. Um, you just come in here, and uh, I will eventually have it set up to where you can like just talk to a a uh, villager and get it. Uh, right now, it's hidden in a shulker box. So, um. That yeah, that's the diner. Uh, it does have a name. It is uh, Emma's Diner. Emma. I don't know why I chose Emma. Actually, um, I I had a couple of friends in high school named Emma, but uh, I I didn't really think about them when I built it. Um, then we have the observatory. We have the Davenport Observatory. Uh, I chose Davenport because that is the name of a piece of furniture. Uh, that sounds old, and I've always kind of liked the name. Uh, it's not much to do up here. There's... Wow. That's great. <laughs> Just showing my server live on screen. Anyways, not much to do. Um, it's more of just sort of like an attraction, so you can, you know, see the night. Uh, there is this, uh, lodestone, I think this is what it is. Yeah, lodestone. Um, purely decorative. Plus, it's a nice place to hang out. Uh, let's see. Then we'll go to the uh, the aquarium slash zoo. Um, so, I know people that play probably won't venture very far outside, and I wanted to make sure that they could at least see all of the mobs that are, or not all the mobs, but all the animals uh, that are in Minecraft. So we have uh, pandas, we have a bird. Why we don't have more is a long story. I, I will just say trying to get fucking parrots to cooperate with you is like an assignment from hell. Okay? You don't understand like the actual just insanity that is trying to get more than one parrot in this damn cage. All right, it is it is. I I hate this animal now. I f I do not like this. I don't like the Minecraft version, anyways. Uh, anyways, pandas. Uh, we have some frogs, some sea turtles. We did have dolphins, but I didn't know this dolphins uh, despawn after a certain amount of time. Some wolves, polar bears, uh, some axolotls. Hello, axolotl. Uh, foxes. We did have tropical fish, but it, I was informed that uh, rather recently uh, they changed it to where they the tropical fish just despawn if you don't name every single individual one of them. And I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> I'm going to murder my friend. Whoa. Wrong key. There we go. Uh, and then out here we have just a little hangout area. Um, oh, there's a bee stuck in the... What are you doing over here, bee? But yeah, just a little area. Like if someone wanted to do a stream or do a YouTube uh, video, it's a place for them to start, I guess. Outside of that, uh, we come to one of the cooling towers for the power plant. Purely aesthetic, but I also think it's kind of neat. It definitely fills up the landscape. Uh, further down that way is the beach, but we'll come to that later. This is the uh, air dock, or mooring mast, whatever you want to call it. Um, this, I actually, I wanted to have a easily accessible... I wanted to have an easily accessible area where you could see over the city, like see what's like there to work with. Um, of course, I couldn't just have that, so I added the airship. The airship does have stuff in it, and 
I will show the inside, but um, I'm not totally sure what I want to use that for. I might use it as an arena of sorts. But yeah, so you can sort of see an overview of the town. So we'll just... Woo! All right. Um, then we have the park. This went through a couple of revisions. Uh, I wanted a... A big area that seemed like it was just part of the original uh, generation. So I literally, at first, took an area that was just generated by the map, or the map seed, and had that as the park. But it didn't really mesh well with the rest of the city. So um, I want to turn on the music. I should play here shortly. Um, oh. That's on the wrong, there we go, huh, all the way, okay, I, I wanted to have uh, just an area for people to hang out with, um, obviously mobs are going to spawn here, so I suppose you could use it as like an XP grinder area if you wanted to do that, um, I have set it to where mobs cannot destroy, um, the air it can't grief so you don't have to worry about damaging anything or anything like that i mean you can still damage stuff but they can't so no no creeper incidents um you can hear some animals there so uh we actually bypassed a few things by taking that shortcut it's also another way to get through the city quicker um so we have the water mill this is another area where you can get some free food. If you're first starting out, you can get wheat and or bread. Um, I wanted to add this just because I think they look cool, and I also wanted to have another way of people being able to get food. Um, this ties into the lore of the, the city, the city of Eastwood. Um, basically, this would have been the very first thing ever built uh, in the city, so uh, it's a landmark. You can also see that I have some uh, redstone lights that turn on at night so that everything is illuminated pretty well. Um, I'll go ahead and show the inside of the airship since we're over here. Not really a whole lot to work with in here. It's just... Uh, I might actually end up using it as like a jail. Because it's... it's I, I could make it to where it's not easy to get out of. Anywho, <clears throat> so we have the, the water mill uh, on this lovely little lake river area, which I have named Lake Lesko. Um, I, that name just came to me one night. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, bees. Bees are a big, important thing now uh, because they're useful for getting uh, candles. They're useful for getting... Um, honey blocks and and just a lot of resources so i obviously wanted to have a bee farm uh so i set up a bee farm uh, this is a free public bee farm for everyone and of course i have the um the campfire going underneath that way you guys they can extract it without getting stung obviously um set up different flowers just to make them happy and then there's a little honey stand uh again i'm gonna have uh, a villager eventually uh you know i'll have plugins and stuff the library okay so this started out as an area i wanted to have a public enchanting room so i'm probably going to have to redo this because it didn't turn out the way i wanted but it does look nice doesn't it you know um there is a, an enchantment table there but i am probably going to have to redo this at some point so this this will just be an enchantment station basically um probably an area that you can buy enchanted material as well like enchanted books uh we'll go up this way because there's not much there's a uh intermediate just park uh another friend of mine who actually has a house on here um, 
built this water fountain for me. Did a beautiful job. I love how it looks. It does have a redstone effect, but if I turn the redstone effect on, it just completely bogs down the server. It's it's not really prepared to deal with particle effects. Uh, this was my house, but it is now for sale. It is, you know, the first house of the server. Uh, it does have a backyard. So, if anyone wants it. Um, of course, this is this is where the housing plots are going to be. Um, I have a road going all the way back and splits. So, anyways, uh, we have an archery range uh, that eventually is going to be turned into another trading area where you can trade for like really good bows and crossbows, but then you can also test them out. Uh, really cool thing about targets is that they're redstone activated. So if you shoot an arrow at this, it will light this up. Very cool. I love that uh, feature. I need to put some like actual lights in here because when you have shaders on, it's it's dark. It's very, very dark. Um, we have the city farm. Just a farm for people to use. Uh, obviously, there's rules, you know, make more before you kill them. Uh, here's another side of the park. We have the uh, tree farm, which has every version, like every single tree except for dark oak, I think it is. No, that's dark oak, isn't it? No, that's spruce. That's spruce. Um, but yeah, so trading area where you can get lumber for doing building. Uh, same rules as the actual farm plant before you destroy or well, in this case, after, because obviously there's not much room. Uh, that takes us to City Hall, which originally was going to be the the spawn, like the, the city spawn, uh, server spawn, rather. But I decided to make this just where the rules and the map are. Got some rules over here. List all the attractions, uh, how the uh, economy works, and so on and so forth. Um... This went through revisions, too, because originally it didn't have the clock tower on it, but I thought it looked too bland, so I went ahead and added it. So uh, Down here we have downtown, so we have a forge where you can get, uh, eventually you can buy weapons and tools. Yeah, and then we have um, Admiral Arthur's Armor Emporium. Uh, where you can buy, you know, armor, custom armor. Um, I'll turn my video settings down just a little bit. Um, yeah, I had, I had, I had custom armor, but it got destroyed. Um, we have a potion shop, Aunt Agatha's potion shop. Um, eventually gonna have a trader here as well. And then we have a green greenhouse. You know, grow your own food. Somebody stole my watermelon. Kid Dylan. Um, and yeah, nether ward as well. And the vines. I don't know if you can use those for anything, but they're there if anybody needs them. Um, we have the lighthouse, which, if you guys remember, was the very first thing that I ever built on this map. And this serves absolutely no purpose. <laughs> um, I th think... I don't know. Maybe, like, if a person needs just a space for crafting or to sleep, this is here. There's nothing in the lighthouse. It's just a spiral staircase all the way to the top. Uh, I guess it's a good lookout as well. You don't really see very much, though. Uh, we have the hotel. If a person chooses to not want to have a house, but at least uh, still be a part of the community, uh, there's a place for them to stay and keep their stuff. Um, yeah. Um, let's see what else. We have the towers. 
So we have uh, an apartment complex because I do know some people just enjoy living in apartments. Uh, when I was there was a couple of servers that were that I was on that people just loved building towers. So I built these for those people. Um, until I think it's about halfway through. There's each floor is separated into apartments, and then if you keep going up, it's basically just the whole floor is yours. Of course, it gets more expensive, obviously. Uh, we have a mall, which is actually where the bank is, and I'll show it off. Um, nice little like food court area. You can see some particle effects dripping down from um, areas. Uh, this is an unfinished shop. I will eventually get it finished. Uh, it's going to be sort of like a luxury uh, leather armor area, like extremely custom stuff. Some plugins might be required for that. Whoa. Uh, we have Miss um, Chin's Kitchen. Um, this is actually inspired by... There is a... Uh, an oriental market down the street from where I live and it's uh, family owned and uh, it's, it's so nice. The, the atmosphere is so, so sweet uh, it is um, very welcoming, but in this case, it's, it's just another place where people buy stuff, discount stuff, uh, mostly uh, cod for free because apparently it's stink. So, um, Next, we have, whoa, still getting used to that. We have Arnie's Armor. This is just going to be another armor shop. Uh, on It's going to be very similar to uh, Arthur's Emporium. When I get it done, this is, a, this is where you can buy uh, just garden stuff, plants. Uh, yeah, you can sort of see the display. We have some of the... Um, I forget what these are called. Blossoms, right? Spore blossoms. Um, although, might have to do something about this because the more uh, this particle effect, the more the server lags for some reason. Oh, yeah. The server is hosted by MC Pro Hosting. Um, I don't have a partnership with them, but I will recommend them. I've been using them for years for uh, several servers. Uh, very wonderful. Uh, company, uh, great customer support. Recommend them. Uh, Captain Sparkles uses them too. Damn the scaffolding. Uh, pet shop. Uh, had cats, but cats despawn if you don't put a name on them. So might have to fix that. We got the dogs, obviously, and then the fish. I had I built this before I knew about the, the despawning of the tropical fish. Redstone shop, Ricardo's Redstone. Get anything Redstone wise here. Kind of expensive though, but it's for those who want to be lazy and not craft it. And we have a tool shop, uh, Timmy's Tool World. Just where you guys can get, you know, lassos, leads, whatever. Or lassos. Oh my God, leads, leads in. Uh, uh, spy glasses and stuff. Again, for the, the lazy people. What you wibbling on about like that? Um, another potion shop. Uh, a little bit more refined. Uh, people can brew stuff here for free, I guess. Go, go in there. Thank you. This, oh. This is the bank. I'm actually quite proud of it. Um, so when the server is 100% live, everyone is going to have a essentially a lockbox. Um, I'm going to try and find a plugin where basically nobody can access a shulk shulker box except for you. I could have done uh, ender chests, but I wanted an ability to be able to... Um, basically check it to make sure people aren't stealing stuff but every single one of these is going to be for a person um may have to expand in the future depends on how many people join so, um going up one more brings us to 
the travel agency. So, um, this is going to be a part of a game mode that I'm coming up with. But uh, it's essentially uh, you get sent to a random spot in the survey, like completely random. And you have a week to find as many resources as possible, like diamonds, emeralds, whatever. And then you get ported back. So, And then there's a restaurant. Uh, I just thought I would add a restaurant. I thought it looked cool. Another place to eat. What is that noise? I don't know what that noise is. And then there's. Oh, it's a. So this is where you went. All right was playing around with the new mobs. He got lost. Uh, but there's nothing like that was the top floor, so um I have I have an apartment up there too. Um although I probably won't use it. Uh we have the hospital. So this is just an area for people to go AFK. That's all it is. There's separate rooms and stuff like that. Um, we have a lookout for lore reasons. Uh, you can see an abandoned mine shaft. And yes, people are allowed to go in the mine shafts. Uh, there's a person's house over there. Uh, b -b 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 what else? We've been down that way, so we can go this way. We have a theater uh, for people to... This is this is more for people who want to do like let's plays and uh, stuff like that, and then uh, it's also good for like just doing city announcements. Um, but yeah, I, one of the reasons why I wanted to have a, a theater, anyways, is because uh, my background I've worked in theater before and I've worked in the film industry. And I wanted to sort of honor it, so I had I made my own theater with a balcony. And there is a upstairs area. Uh, it's it's complete with a um, we have a, a, a what's it called workshop workshop. We have two workshops. We have this one and the one above it, and then we have uh, manager's office. Um, other than that, it's just more or less uh, decorative. Turn that music up just a little bit more. And then uh, that brings us over here. So this is the back of the hotel, the towers. We have a fairground. Um, I have always gotten a kick out of every, any server I've joined seeing carnivals. It just, it makes me feel so happy to see them. Um, so I've got a couple of quote unquote rides, another food stand. I've got a roller coaster. I am proud of this roller coaster. I have a Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel doesn't do anything though. I really wish it did. Uh, but you know, Mojang, Microsoft, they won't add stuff like that. Uh, it also comes out onto a beach that faces the city spawn. So. What you are looking at, oh, this is the docks. Uh, nothing in here, really. But you are looking at <sighs> my ship. I worked for days <laughs> on this stupid ship. And then um, I actually, this is the second version. The first version got erased when my server had a hiccup and had to be reset. So I have built this ship two times. Uh, it, this one's a little bit bigger and better than the other one. It's not so far down in the water. Um, I did a little bit more research on how ships actually are supposed to work. And I, I think I came up with a good one for you. But when you are new to the server, this is actually where you spawn. 
Uh, you will spawn actually here in reception. Uh, so there's a book. Whoops. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, server guest, welcome to Eastwood City. You should spawn somewhat close to this book. I welcome all of you. If the door is open, please come on out to the city. If not, please wait to be opted by admin. This is also a waiting room. So I have it set right now that when a person joins, they can't actually do anything until I give them a level of permission. Just so that avoids people from um, causing havoc. And then also uh, people can sign in when they join. Uh, I have went through and I have decorated this fucker. Um, there are rooms. So people can actually like stay here. Uh, people can, if they're waiting to be opt, they have, you know, areas to go to, they can sleep. Um, this back here is, again, more or less just decorative, but I had to add it because it's a fucking boat. Uh, the engineering decks, we have the engines, the boilers, um, cargo hold. Um, I, I just went all out with this. Uh, I'm quite proud of it, actually, um, for being, technically speaking, the, the third ship I have ever made. Uh, this is much better than the first one. Uh, upstairs is just uh, another restaurant. There will be a uh, villager there. Uh, some more rooms, uh, a bathroom. An AFK area, because there's an infirmary. Um, what's about this? I think the actual... This is C-Deck. Yeah. So up on B-Deck, we have uh, just basically decorations. There are a couple of rooms of interest. We have a, um, a chapel uh, where, like, if you want to get married, you can get married. I don't give a shit. That was in another server. I, I thought it was cute at the time. Uh, more bedrooms. Um, we are out on the stern. Seeing the last little bit of the city. Um, so, uh, what was... There's just, I think there's just a couple more rooms on this side. I think there's like a, a bedroom and then a lounge. Yeah, lounge. Uh, now, if you notice, there's this big area here. No windows. Doesn't go to anything. Why, you may ask? Well, obviously, there's something above it. Over here on a deck. So we have the bridge. I think I did a pretty good job with that. Um... I should probably put doors there. We have a pool. We have a pool on a boat. See? It's a pool. Why? Because I wanted there to be a pool on a boat. Uh, we have a stateroom. Actually, we have two of them. We have one on this side, one on the other side. And then we have a uh, S-deck. What do I call S-deck? Technically, this is just... Uh, decor uh telegraph office just because lore um yeah s deck is just the very tippy top i'd rather people not come up here because i don't want them to get like stuck anywhere but it is accessible i tried i try to make it idiot proof <laughs> so and uh yeah, I think I think I did a pretty decent job of it. Uh, so then we need to go off over here to see the final bit of the map. Boop doop 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 boop doop boop. Uh, that goes to somebody's house. All the way down on, I think it's Naval Road or Naval Street. This entire street is just Naval something. I don't know. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Is the shipyard. So the shipyard is uh, lore and 
decor and if anyone just basically wants to use it for something like a game mode or something. I don't know. Um, little, little, uh, what are these called? Fairy, little fairy. Then the uh, gantry. And then finally, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to acknowledge that this is the second ship. So I basically came up with Lord that explained why there is just a sunken boat. I essentially recreated in somewhat accuracy the, the boat that I had originally before my server got reset uh, underwater. Uh, there are some uh, Easter eggs hidden around here, so keep your eye out if you're ever here. Um, but that, that's pretty much the city. Um, I'm hoping people will join, uh, you know, make it their home away from home, build, you know, houses, hotels, whatever they want to. Um, eventually I would like to have like an actual arena, uh, but I am not good at building those. Ah, oh, I missed a few things. I did. Uh, I missed this, which had started out as a chapel, but is now just the entrance into the end uh, oh. and there is a city mine there's not really much going on with it right now because again no one's really been on and oh the power plant right, 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 right the power plant and the power plant actually does have a function. Uh, it is the nether entrance. Never mind the exposed nuclear reactor right next to the to gateway. But yeah, this was a labor of love, something I really enjoyed doing. I love, I love building in Minecraft, and I love giving. Uh, a place for people to just hang out, play, um, do whatever. Um, it's it's been fun. It's re it's really been fun uh, doing all of this. And yes, all all of this is I've built this. I have not had help except for my house and then that one person's house. Um, all of this was just my imagination, I guess. Um. So eventually, people will start playing on here um, when things get a little bit more cleaned up, a little bit more, you know, good to go. And uh, yeah, I I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, hang out with my friends and make content on here. So, but uh, yeah, that is Eastwood City. Uh, let me know if you guys think I should make it like a a copy of this, make it public. Um, I, I would love to. I would love to see what people do with what I'm giving them. Um, I think it would be fun. So, um, but that is pretty much all there is for that stream. I just kind of wanted to show that off and show you guys what I've been working on. Um, let you guys know how I've been. I've been all right. Been dealing with some uh, life-changing events, and uh, things are getting better. Uh, I will say that things are getting better. So, anyways, uh, if you guys like my content, make sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter to know when I go live. I have a YouTube page where I archive most of my streams, so you can subscribe to that if you want to. Um, I try to stream multiple times a week if I can. If I can't, then it's multiple times a day. Uh, right now, my schedule is a little crazy because there's just a lot changing, but I'm trying to uh, stick by it as much as I can. Uh, and I'm very appreciative and thankful for you guys uh, for being patient and understanding. So, um, But I will be back later, maybe tomorrow to do uh, more of either Subnautica or something. Um, but, you know, until then, I hope you guys have a great day, good morning, good night, whatever it is for you, and, uh, yeah, see you then.